on your back? Leave them there. When cops get caught driving drunk, it's like the irony just pulled them over, protecting and serving with a side of swerving. Here are some cases when cops get driving drunk and a bonus case at the end. Can I see your license? Right. Yes, sir, I do. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Can you do this? Yes, sir. On December 3rd, 2023, Officer Lujan was on patrol in the city of Albuquerque when he spotted a black-colored pickup truck going 90 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. But when he pulled the car over, he was surprised to see one of his own. What's going? Not too bad. Lost the home in New Mexico State Police. Any sudden reason I'm stopping you? Way too fast. What's up with the speed? Got you. Driver's license? Just your driver's license. Cool. Step on another vehicle for me, please. Any weapons? Cool. Step on out. Officer Lujan observed that the driver had bloodshot eyes and the car was reeking of alcohol. Okay, put your well, I, I have my contacts. Self to heart. Awesome. Okay, take a step forward for me, please. Feet together, hands right to the side. See my finger? Yes. Follow my finger with your eyes and do not move your head. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He failed the first field sobriety test. The driver was identified as New Mexico State Police Officer Edgar Madrid. Sir. Edgar passed the line following test, but fumbled when he had to keep his leg up. He then confessed that he had one too many to drink that night. This arrest was by far one of the smoothest DWI arrests I've seen. Who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform additional chemical tests? The cost of this additional test will be paid by law enforcement agency of New Mexico State Police. Do you agree to take our test? Yes or no? No, sir. I will continue. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving one under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? Do you now agree to be tested? We'll continue your actions and refuse to be tested at this time. Mr. Majero, open your mouth, please. Stick your tongue out. Lift it up to the sky. Do you have anything in your mouth? Do you need to smoke? Anything in between your teeth and your gums? 142. We'll walk to the room of vehicle, please. After refusing to submit to further tests, Edgar was charged with driving under the influence, no proof of insurance, failure to provide driver's license and speeding. As is the custom of PDs, he was sent on administrative leave and remained with the PD for the next four months before he was arrested. Video 2. While the last officer had a little too much to drink, this next one looked high as a kite. Hey, how you doing? Secaucus Police! July 2nd, 2023, Secaucus Police officers found a man asleep behind the wheel of his car parked in the middle of the street. And by the looks of it, he was clearly not in his senses. How you doing? Hey! How you doing? Secaucus Police! Put your car in park! Put your car in park! Hey! Yo! Put your car in park. Put it in park. Put the gear in park. Put the gear in park. Perfect. How you feeling? Okay. See you, August Police. Officer Gonzalez has been recording my body cam, okay? What happened? Uh huh. You know where you are? Where are you? By Hogan. You where? By Hogan? By Hogan. By Hoboken? You know what town you're in? You know, you're not in Hoboken. Where's home? The driver was identified as Mauricio Garces of the Union City PD. Mauricio was having difficulty maintaining eye contact, 
he had drunk written all over his face. Okay, you understand what's going on right now? Yes, sir. What happened? We're home, is it? No, you understand what's going on, though? You understand why I'm here talking to you? What happened? Uh, Morovico stop. Huh? Morovico stop. stop. You weren't driving. You're going straight home. You're going straight home? Where are you coming from? Uh, Union City. You're coming from Union City? Yes, sir. What were you doing? Uh, doing straight home. You were just driving straight home? Yes, sir. You understand why why I'm talking to you though right now? Do you understand yes, what happened? What happened right now? Huh? You know, straight home, that's it? Yeah, but but you're not answering my question. I feel bad for the guy. He was stumbling over his own words. He had a blackout and ended up in a vehicle stop. Safe to say he wasn't going to smooth talk his way out of this one. Uh you weren't driving your car, okay? I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. Okay? You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand what you were doing? Yes, I want to stop and get the whole thing home. No, you're not understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. The reason, reason why I'm here is because you fell asleep. Yes, sir. So, sir, I was No, you didn't say any of that. Okay? I just woke you up right now. Yes, sir. I went straight home. That's it. Okay, you're, you're repeating yourself. All right. Huh? I, I, two blocks away. That's it. Two blocks away or anything? Sir, I don't All right. Know okay. You, you, your speech a little slurred. Okay. Did you drink anything? I had a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks? Yes, a little slurred? He was out here mumble rapping. The officer then decided to conduct some field sobriety tests just so we could witness this golden body cam footage. Look at my pen. Okay. All right. And you just follow my pen without moving your head. All right. Just your eyes. Okay. Don't move your head. Look straight and just move your eyes. Again, look straight. Okay, just move your eyes. Okay, you had a couple of drinks, huh? About how many? That you could remember. Two or three. Two or three? Two or three? Okay. Hands to the side. Go ahead, you may begin. Count out loud. 1,000, Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, just turn around for me and then just put your arms back like this. All right, turn around real quick and just put your arms out like that. Is that for me? Is that right? Okay, that's fine. Alright. Put your hands together like this. Put your hands together. And to no one's surprise, he failed the tests with flying colors. Mauricio Garces was placed under arrest roughly five minutes later after the cops deemed that he had failed the field sobriety test. But on a more concerning side, this wasn't Mauricio's first DWI case. His license was suspended for one year as a previous guilty plea. The 35-year-old was ordered to pay $890 in fines and court costs, and his vehicle had to be equipped with an ignition interlock device for two years. According to public records, he remains on active duty. Let's just hope some authoritative figure takes notice of their officers with drinking problems. Video 3 while the last two cases had drunk cops up to no good, 
This next one had an entitled congressman threatening a police officer for doing their job. Sir, can I see your license? Right. Yes, sir, I do. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Can you do this? Yes, sir. February 14, 2022. Sarasota police officer Julia Beskin pulled over congressional candidate Martin Hyde for overspeeding and texting while driving. But this politician had a massive sense of entitlement. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Officer Beskin, Sarasota Police Department. You're on audio and video recording the reason for the stop. You were observed going 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. That was at Euclid and Fruitvale. I'm not pointing at you, I'm pointing in the direction where it was. Go right ahead, sir. Can I see your license? Yes, sir, I do. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Still have a job to do, sir. What's your name? Officer Baskin, it's going to be on the citation. Can I see your insurance registration? license, please. Sir, can I have your Seven years, sir. Hyde blatantly threatened Officer Beskin's job, but she had nerves of steel. Registration, please. You're not going to give me your registration, sir. I'm asking you if you're going to produce me with your registration. You don't have it on you? Okay, sir. Since when did politicians start ordering the police around? I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. Okay, okay sir. Doing? Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Is this one? Where's your video? All right. Hang tight. Nobody in their right minds would elect this guy in any position of power. It's important to note that during this traffic stop, Hyde was just a Republican congressional candidate in Florida. Call the supervisor. I just spoke to the boss. Okay. You want your paperwork? Is it your Russian immigrant status that makes people like this? Fourteen cents. Call the supervisor. Fourteen dispatch. Can you have my supervisor respond, please? Yeah. And then we'll see who goes. You don't want your oh. paperwork? Oh. Sixty-one forty-two. Oh. Can you give me fifty-one hundred for Elm Street? You don't have Sir, you're going to be issued a citation. Anything you have to say. I'll wait for the supervisor. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm going to go through what I need to go through. No, I'm not interested. Right, you are going to be issued a citation. That's the registration. Okay. Well, Shut you've been already issued a citation for that. For what? We're failed to produce your registration. Alright. Sir, you gonna, you're gonna right be issued a citation 57 and a 40 for speeding. Your fine is 256. Here. Information in the back. Right and then I have an option to it's plead guilty. Camera. An option to plead not guilty and an option to take a safe driver's course. If you qualify for the course, it will reduce your fine. And it will reduce your points. If you decide to go ahead and do that, just make sure you do a prior to submission of you know payment. What? You know what he said about you? <laughs> He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. If you fail to complete, you like okay. and he's going to have you again. And that's fine. It's not fine. He resorted to racial discrimination, all because of a swollen ego. The registration he didn't want to show before now came out of nowhere. Hyde then takes out his phone to record the injustice against him. For it, you must complete it. Otherwise, they will go ahead and suspend your license. You are going to be issued a citation for texting and driving. Okay. You are going to be issued a citation for, citi for texting and driving. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You're going to have an option to plead guilty and an option to plead not guilty. You are going to be issued a citation for failure to provide your registration upon request. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You have guilty you're lying. or not guilty. Uh, you're lying. Free paper. You Free lying. paper tells you, you have 30 lying? days to replay. Why are you lying? You have 30 Why days to reply. Why are you lying? Your payment options are on the green question? form. Why are you phone, lying? Phone number on the bottom Why in case you have any questions. Come? When my supervisor comes, I'll wait for him with you if you like me to. Your citations no, no, are already. You have to wait. You 
I will wait. I will wait, but I will wait on my car. You know. He was well versed in manipulating the facts. I guess that's what our politics has come to nowadays. Is that waiting for a supervisor or are you leaving? Okay. Very good. By the way, wait I'm sorry? Okay. I'm on over there. You know Pat Robinson, right? Yes, I do, sir. What Because I have a job to do, sir. Nobody's above the law. No one's above the law. You have to have some degree of respect for law abiding. That degree of respect started the moment I walked up to your car, sir. If that is your feeling, you are more than welcome to fight the citations in court. Okay. Okay. You are more than. You know, you're an influential person. You are. You can go ahead and do that. Okay. Why don't you say you're sorry? Because I did nothing wrong, sir. I was doing my job, but I am going to ask you either to sit, sit in your car or step on the sidewalk because I don't want either one of us getting hit. Okay. Props to Beskin for keeping her cool and not escalating the situation until her supervisor arrived on scene. I don't want a significant uh, ticket for no registration when they've got the registration. She's trying to make her spurs, but it's a big mistake. Well, this one is the expired one, but... Well, it doesn't make it. It'll take two yeah. seconds. Yeah. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. I just want you to witness it know that the, yeah, the registration was right there and she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up, she said the first... Look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got... Hyde repeatedly tried to manipulate the facts. And his blatant lies would soon turn into gaslighting. And I've got a video of what you said. I, what she said was, I, I, said, I, I don't have it. She immediately said, I write your citation. She went right back. She never said anything. She went straight back. She, I denied the citation. She's straight back and write the said, I've lived here for 25 years. I've represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. Yeah, just a second, officer. Yeah, Mr. Hyde, like I said, no, no. you know... I've represented sir. you guys yes, in the union discussions. My yes. son is a cop. I'm friends with yeah. the, yes, everybody in the police department. This is the first time anybody has been disrespectful to me. And for what reason? I could care less. If they were giving right me a ticket, I could care less. I just pay the bloody thing. You don't think I've got the money? Mm -hmm. It's the manner. Her, her uh, interaction? Outrageous. Yeah. yeah. Why would you do that? Why? I mean, yeah. of all the people to do it to. Yeah, I understand, sir. And, you know, I, I set you, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been with the, the uh, negotiations with you, and I understand where you're, you're coming from. I don't ask for special treatment, but I don't expect to get treated like a punk. Hyde then chooses to flex his wealth over the officers. His constant nagging was a clear indicator that he expected special treatment. Yeah, I have to leave it on. All right, <laughs> All right so here's the thing. She lied about the cell phone thing. Okay. She lied about the, I don't know, the speed, I could care less. You give me the ticket all day long. I care less about that. And then I gave her the registration. And she, before, it was just, oh, your registration? It's in the car there somewhere. She goes off, she writes me a ticket, she brings me back a citation. I said, there it is. Okay. And she still gives me it. Okay. All right. She's being fun. And the thing is, I appreciate that. I back you guys left, right, and center. I understand that. I do. I do. I trust me. I do and know I that. I don't expect better treatment, but I don't expect worse treatment. If that's how you treat people, that's unacceptable. Hyde indirectly asks Beskin's supervisor to turn off his body cam. No one should be above the law, especially entitled congressional candidates. This body cam footage went viral, and Martin Hyde faced severe backlash on social media for his antics. Not only was he already lagging behind 6 to 1 against his rival at the time. This incident dug his political grave. Hyde responded to the immense public outcry with a Facebook post of his own. Just over a week ago, I was stopped in Sarasota for speeding. During the stop, I was belligerent and rude to the officer who stopped me. Much interest has been shown in local media and many comments made as to my behavior. I'm not going to justify my poor temper on that day or attempt to mitigate it in any way. 
There will be some who will say, it's not the first time I've acted out, and they'd be right. I have faults, and one of them is to be overly aggressive on occasion when I'm challenged. In the political arena, that is possibly a good thing, but on a personal level, it's not. I've apologized to the officer in question, and now I'm apologizing to the community as a whole. I'm going to do my utmost to behave better going forward. I'm not running away though, as that's not in my nature. There is nothing more I can say, or will say on this subject, other than I'm sorry for any offense caused to anyone. In the end, Officer Beskin was applauded for her traffic stop, while Hyde faced the full force of public opinion. This incident would make politicians think twice before flexing their status over law enforcement. Do you think Martin Hyde got off lightly, or should there have been a stricter action against him? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to leave a like, subscribe and share this video if you haven't already, and be sure to stay tuned for the next installment. Who knows, it might be right up your alley. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.